So today our, st our first story time is from Rachel in Ireland and we think it's really important this one. When we read this it really did touch us and Rachel thank you very much for sharing your story with us. Rachel says, Hi Ollie and James, I just want to share a story that's really close to my heart. Maybe it can help someone who might be going through the same thing and make them feel less alone. I understand it isn't exactly a happy or exciting story, but if it can help just one person, then I'd love to share it. Back in 2018, I sadly lost my mother to cancer. I was just 14 and I felt so lost and alone. I have really bad anxiety sometimes and when I was younger, my mum was the only person I would feel safe and comfortable around, so losing her was unbelievably difficult. I was thankful to have the support of my friends, but none of them had lost a parent, so they didn't understand how bad it felt to see them with their mothers, knowing I couldn't see mine. Now, of course, the days get easier and it doesn't hurt as much now, but there isn't a day when you don't think about the person you lost who meant everything to you. At 14, I thought I was an adult. I thought I could handle everything alone, but I should have asked for a little more help and a little more support. I was in denial that my mum had passed away because it was easier than facing and accepting my grief. It was only when I turned 18 that I started to accept it. I used to wish my grief would go away, but now I've learned that grief is a special thing. It's a reminder of just how much love that you had for that individual. One of the hardest things I struggled with was getting the feeling of safety, happiness, joy and security back until I came across your podcast and really started to enjoy them. I slowly started to feel like I wasn't alone and I had a safe space to go when I was struggling or and simply needed to smile. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's Oliver's drum or James's love for pizza, especially a pineapple pizza. I love both of them, by the way. But... You both have really spread the feeling of everything is going to be OK and you're not alone, even without saying it out loud. Thank you so much, guys. Again, I know this wasn't exactly a happy or exciting story time, but like someone. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Again, I know this wasn't exactly a happy or exciting story time like some that you have been on before, but I hope by sharing some of my story, it has helped just one person to know that they are not alone with suffering from a loss of a loved one. Rachel. Rachel, thank you so, so much for that message and sharing that story with you. With, um, I don't really know what to say. I'm, I'm, I'm really yeah. glad that our, our silly little <laughs> podcast has been able to help and dealing with an unimaginable situation. And obviously, we we're very, very sorry for your loss and going through the hard times that you do but thank you so much for sharing that and hopefully like Rachel says if anyone listening in this gives them some comfort and sh shows that you are not alone then we really do hope that has helped I think it will do I mean especially with with what Rachel said there as well is that she's just literally just summed it all up just at the very end you know how people aren't alone because if there are so it, there's obviously Rachel selling that story and send that into us so we could obviously tell people about it so she's with that person who she probably doesn't know or has met but maybe going through something similar do you know what I mean like there's that there is that link and that's like that's that great thing about it and it's such an important thing to be able to to celebrate as well I think Rachel we should be celebrating the the amazing obviously connection that you had with your mum and to be able to to share that with us as well and now we're obviously able to share it with a lot of other people so we're all, all with you on that one and thank you so much as, as James said for um yeah just just bring that home to us and, and telling us a nice I suppose job well done um but yeah in all in all sincerity mate that is absolutely fantastic and if anything hang on Comes for a drum roll. Comes for a drum roll. Um, I haven't had the drum out much this year, but yeah. So I think it just, I think it just goes to show though that you know you can have so many great points made from from what you said there, Rachel. A few. Uh, I'm not not too sure about the pizza, but there we go. No pineapple and pizza is always a good thing. I don't care what anyone <laughs> says. I'm glad that Rachel agrees with me. But Rachel, thank you so much for sending that message in, and we really are glad that 
you've enjoyed listening to this as much as we have making it with Rachel saying that as well and, and hearing that it's great that we get messages as I said earlier like we get messages and, and, and things from people who maybe we, we're not able to necessarily read the whole story out um, on the show but we do get a lot of people messaging saying that thank you for giving a, a safe space to, to see what's going on if something's not going quite well like a um, a shout out to Abby for example who's a nursing major in college at the moment and she was uh, it's like her escape when obviously the the textbooks and everything like that get to get too much at times, so yeah, just a big shout out to everyone like that as well who are who are finding it in our in our silly little podcast, as James says. Don't go, you're ready to make me.